Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with another match between King John the Sixth and Shalka. This is on Aqua Moon, which is a rather new map by King John the Sixth, and it's a rather small map. It's a bit, a bit linear, I suppose. It's got well, got the main bases, the top and bottom, and then it also has some minor expansions to the sides of each main base, and in the middle it also has two other minor expansions as well. So it's a fairly small map. But we'll see how it works out. It doesn't look like it could be too difficult to cast, but we'll see. See what happens. See what they do. So it looks like at this point, King John VI has gone for Grekim, while Shalka has gone for Vekir. So another Grekim versus Vekir match, and looks like at this point, King John VI is going for is going for a fairly economic build, or at least a fairly fairly standard start. Seppi per generation, Faro per generation, and Shalka on the other hand is going for. Oh, he's going for early infantry, getting an early Zine Veer, and he looks like he's going... Is he going for an attack of some sort? No, he's just going... You know, he's just going to explore the side of his base. He doesn't think he's going for any sort of attack. He's getting another Zine Veer, probably to help out with either resources or... No, he does have a Zine Veer going to scout from the looks of it. And at the same time, King John Six is building a bunch of Octos, but they are meant for resource processors, so... King John Six is also going for a standard, mostly economic build, so... Fairly, fairly safe builds from both sides. Although actually, Shalka from looks at it hasn't gone for a 6th RP, so... Shalka actually has... Okay, Shalka now has gone for 6th RP. He's gone for one... Right down here. I don't know, it's 7th... No, where is the 6th RP? Oh no, he's actually built another Zion Veer. So he's building a lot of Zion Veers. He's not building a lot of RPs. This is rather interesting. And King John VI has his Octo set up here. It looks like he, he does have them becoming RPs, but he went back in the past to do it. So, anyway, we have King John VI going for, like I said, a safer build, and it looks like Shock is going for a slightly more aggressive build. He's getting a lot of infantry early on. He has six resource processors, one on Q-Plasma, five on Liquid Crystal, and otherwise he hasn't built a lot. And same thing with King John VI, but King John VI doesn't have... He doesn't have an Octo setup for Pro Generation yet, but he does look like he's getting that soon. Or is he? It looks like he's... No, he's also going for a slight aggressive build. So both players are going for a very minor aggressive build, just... Slight like poking, poking assault from each side, and actually no, it doesn't look like Shaka is actually going for that. So Shaka is just defending his own base from the looks of it. He has a lot of infantry set up. He doesn't have any foundations set up for depots or anything. He has the resources for it, or he doesn't have the resources for it. Sorry, that's no, he does actually. Yes, he does have the resources for it. He does have enough. He does have enough liquid crystal for a foundation, and he has built one. Okay, so he does have a foundation coming up. So at this point. King John VI's forces are coming in, so King John VI is going to see what Shaka is playing. Shaka is also going to know what King John VI is playing, and King John VI is going to see that Shaka has a rather late depot as well. It looks like... Okay, so King John VI is attacking, and not much is going to be going on here. This Teth Fear is doomed, but these Octos are also going to die pretty quickly. So, at this point, the Octos have taken care of the Teth Fear. One of the Octos is dead, the other Octo is going to be dead very soon, and it looks like... If yeah, the Octo is just about dead... Back, back King John's 6th base, he's getting a reef up, so that that attack was just a fire and forget scouting attack. Nothing real, really lost in that process, but he does have a reef coming up. He should be getting some technologies pretty soon, probably advanced buildings to get air units. While Shaka has not built his depot yet, he does have the resources for it, but he hasn't actually gone and done so. So it doesn't look like anything is coming up yet, but back further in the past, it looks like, you know, the reef is still finishing up. So King John's 6th starts out what exactly he's doing. It doesn't look like he's going to save these... Octos that are attacking? Nope, they're still attacking, so he hasn't gone back to stop that attack. And back further in the... further closer to the present, it looks like Shalka's depot has been built. Shalka's building another... wow, he's building two foundations, so he's got a lot of foundations set up. Probably for healing, and then later on for aerial control center and slipgate. And the depot is coming up really quickly, though. Which is... okay, three minutes in the game. Not a terribly light depot, but it still feels a bit late compared to when it could be, especially since he built a lot of infantry. Though, given the circumstances, not a bad idea. This is a small map, it conducive to rushes, and admittedly, King John VI Octo Rush, which he has mildly undone now, was not that bad, but he could have done a lot worse. He could have sent all of his forces into attack, and so Shaka really did need that infantry. However, it did seem like it is a bit of a depot, so he needs to build some vehicles pretty quickly. He has one, one Zion Pulsar coming up, has been built, so he has some vehicles set up now. He's getting, he's getting more infantry as well. I'm surprised he isn't converting the infantry to vehicles, though. He has... You no, know, he doesn't have the resources yet. So actually, I'm not surprised. He has. He doesn't have enough Q-Plasma yet. He does have enough Q-Plasma, though, for another Zion Pulsar. I don't know if he's going to get that, though, because those aren't the best units against air units. And though, given that he doesn't know what 
King John VI is doing, he has no reason to assume air units are being built. However, air units are not being built, so it doesn't really matter. At this point, Zion Pulsar is built. No other vehicles are being built yet, though. He might be waiting for another vehicle. He might be... He might actually be just focusing on the past. That's exactly what's happening. So it looks like King John VI... Okay, further back, about two minutes before we were looking at before, it looks like King John VI did go for an attack. It looks like... Okay, the attack continued going. The depot actually ended up building the same time I mentioned before. And it looks like King John VI has once again undone the attack. So he's just continuing to scout to see what Shalka is up to at various times. Not a bad idea. And it looks like Shalka, back when he's focusing on... And I apologize if this is confusing my jumping around a bit. But this, this we've seen before, so Shaka has set up... Oh no, he hasn't. He hasn't set up a foundation yet. So he actually isn't setting up any further foundations. He's built another Zion Pulsar, and it looks like he might be setting up... Yeah, he's got a Zion Pulsar set up, and he doesn't look like he's setting up any more foundations at this point. He just has more Zion Pulsars coming, and he's going to go... Looks like he's going to... He's preparing for a rather powerful attack. So he's got his Zion Pulsars all linked up to one of the Zion Veers, and it looks like one of the Zion Pulsars is coming in... And it's going forward to defend the base better. An Octopod is coming down from King John VI. And the Octos are still there from the first attack that haven't actually been involved in the first attack, ultimately, that are doing some damage. And Aspire is coming up as well, so there are air units coming up. So Shalka is not aware of this. He doesn't know that he needs to get some air defenses very soon. But it doesn't matter. At this point, the Octopod is the biggest threat. And Shalka is going for an attack. And... Wait a second. What does exactly happen here? Okay, so it looks like Shalka's forces moved slightly. And then he... Okay, so Shalka is going to go in for... A more aggressive assault. He's set the command to the Zion Pulsar. The Zion Pulsar is moving forward. The Zion Veer that was there is becoming a Zion Pulsar as well. So now there is a, the attack going on. The Octos are being attacked preemptively. An Octobot is coming down, but it's not going to be able to save them. And it looks like the Zion Veers are taking care of the Octos. The Octos are going to be completely destroyed very quickly. They are probably going to deal any damage to the Zion Veer before they die. So the Zion Veer has been slightly damaged. It is the commander, though, so it does need to be protected a bit better. And this point, the Octobot is coming in as well. The Zion Veers are going to be able to knock it out from afar, but it looks like the commanding Zion Veer is going to be destroyed. It is Sorry, Zion Pulsar. It is going to become a Zion Veer, though, so it's not going to be the end of the world, but it is going to be slightly inconvenient. So the Octopod is dead. That Zion Veer is damaged, and it does need to become a Zion Pulsar again, or Zion Torture, if it wants to have better survivability. And it doesn't really change the command chain, though, so the commanding Zion Pulsar is no longer that vulnerable. The Zion Veer should be going back to get some, well, become a vehicle again, and it is going back, so I assume it will be becoming a vehicle as soon as possible. A foundation has been built for healing, and I don't know if it's going to be building an aerial control center anytime soon. Now, as for King John VI, King John VI has built Spire. He has a couple domes up. He has a Faropod coming up. Two Faropods coming up, actually. And these domes are going to be doing a very good job if, if Shalka attacks, although Shalka's design pulses are going to be able to make short work of it if they do attack. So at this point, both players are pretty much at a stalemate. Looks like neither player is really prepared to attack the other, or at least doesn't think they are. And actually, never mind that. Shalka has actually gone for an assault. And at this point, so really... Okay, so King John VI, Farpod, has cloaked, is coming up, so the Farpods are going to be attacking directly, while Shalka's Zion Pulsars are also coming around the side to attack, and it looks like the Farpods are going to... Are they going to miss the Zion Pulsars? No, they're not. They found the Zion Pulsars. They're going to, one of them's going to attack the Zion Pulsars. The other one's going to go straight for the base, so at this point, you have two Teth Pulsars as well, and another Zion Pulsar, but what he really needs is a Shin Beer, and possibly a Shin Torture, but... He doesn't have that at the moment, he doesn't have the aerial control center, and the foundation he could have used doesn't exist either. And another Cyberbot's coming in, so it's going to be really hard to be... Oh wow, this is going to be really hard to defend against. The Ted Pulse is doing a valiant job, but they're not going to last very long. And the Cyberbot's almost dead, but the Cyberbot's not quite dead yet, and there's nothing that Shalka can do to attack. Shalka really needs to go for a counterattack, but he can't. His Zion Pulses have been dead, but maybe he's changed something back in the past. So let's go back a minute or so in the past and see what he's changed. So he's changed where the foundation is. He hasn't built an aerial control center from it yet, though. But he doesn't have any forces to attack this. He doesn't have a Shin Veer coming up. He doesn't have a Shin Pulsar. He does have a Zion Pulsar in the base, though. They are dealing a fair amount of damage. It looks like they decided to hell with the Power Pods. They're just going to run forward and do what they can. They have no commanders, though, so they're going to be harder to control. Actually, impossible to control at this point. This is the unplayable pass. So the Zion Pulsars are coming in. They are going to make sure work with this one dome. The Seven Quad is trying to do what it can, but the dome is going to be completely destroyed. One of the Zion Pulsars... Pulsars has been killed, though, and it looks like another one's coming in, trying to destroy the Reef. I don't think he'll be able to destroy the Reef before it's done. No, one of the Zion Pulsars is dead, and the other Zion Pulsar is doing what it can, but it does, it's not going to last long enough between between the units that are coming in. The Reef is going to be destroyed very quickly, and it's not going to be enough. While at the same time, we have the Firepods coming in here, doing a lot of damage. There is an Aerial Control Center built up, so there is the there is a possibility of Shin units, Shin Turchers to cloak, detect, and Teth Turchers to get rid of these Firepods more efficiently, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. The Firepod is doing what it can against the depot, and a lot more power pods are coming in. There's three power pods, probably four power, power pods actually coming in here, but one of them is, and one of the second pods is over here. Three power pods in the base, though, doing a ton of damage, doing a lot of damage. They're going to be able to just, okay, they made sure work of that depot, and it looks like 
Shadow Guns and Treasure Booty Can against the Foundation, but the Foundation is completely destroyed. The Quarrow Pods are coming. Destroy the Aerial Control Center. The Annex is almost dead. Maybe in the past, something's been saved, but no, it looks like Shalka can't really do much against this. He did what he could against the base of King John the Sixth, but King John the Sixth, his forces are just too powerful. He didn't have the air units. Shalka did not have the anti air units to fight off King John the Sixth's forces, which is a real shame, and he's trying to do what he can to rebuild, but at this point, King John the Sixth pretty much has this game in the bag. So, like I said, rather. Rather small map, rather rush oriented, and this is what we see. Eight minutes in, we get. Well, it's not super rush, but still, three fire pods coming in, semi pod. Very dangerous, very, very risky building of all the design pulsers, and it looks like that did not pay off. So, unfortunately, here we come. So, unfortunately for Shalka, he is about to be destroyed, and it looks like. Yeah, is King John the going back in time to reinforce his own units? I don't think so, but it's a bit hard to tell. He did jump back in time just now, and he's doing anything back then. So, at this point, King John the Sixth isn't doing much. He doesn't have anything built up, he doesn't have anything really interesting going on, so he's just... All he has is these forces, but he still has a lot of forces. Shalka pretty much has nothing at this point. I don't know what Shalka could possibly do to get out of this. I don't think there really is anything, it's just a matter of him realizing he can't win and just saying GG, because at this point that's all that can really happen. So it looks like King John the Sixth, surprisingly enough, is leaving the Annex alive, because as it stands, Shalka actually has quite a few resources, but he doesn't have any real way of building with them, because he can't... If he builds any infantry, they're going to die as soon as they come out of the bag. So, really, at this point, Shalka is just... He's just going in disbelief, and he's wondering why foundations aren't being built. Not that it really matters, though, but... He's... Yeah, his forces are being completely destroyed, and... Yeah, so, really, it's just a matter of... Time. Just a matter of Shalka basically saying, you know what? I've lost. I... GG. That's it. But it doesn't look like... It looks like, at this point, Pickley has jumped back, and... No, he's not building anything more, but he is... It looks like Shaka was trying to build foundations to counter, but it looks like... It doesn't matter. The fire pods are dealing way too much damage. At this point, Pickley back where he is. He destroyed the Annex. He's gotten rid of everything. The Annex... Well, actually, the Annex was destroyed before it went back, too. And it looks like, at this point, there really is nothing that can be done. So, unfortunately, for Shaka, that seems to be the game. So, Shalka is just going to probably spend a little bit of time contemplating how he ended up losing. But after this, that will be the game. So, Shalka has pretty much admitted defeat, so it's just a matter of he's going to surrender really soon, and that'll be the game. So, I'm hope I hope you enjoyed watching this, and have a good night.